welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new to my channel welcome to medcode insight hi i am nishaba a certified medical coder in this video we will go over some important repeated practice questions from the remaining respiratory system topics along with guidelines and quick elimination methods so that you can choose the correct option within a minute so without further ado let's get started an 18 month old patient is seen in emergency department for asphyxiation are unable to breathe due to a toy he swallowed which has locked in his throat brain death will soon occur if an airway is not established immediately the emergency department provider performs an emergency transtracheal tracheostomy what cpt and icd tensium codes should be reported Option A with code 31601, J34.9, T17.298A. Option B with code 31603, T17.220A. Option C with code 31601, 31603, T17.228A. Option D with code 31603, T17.290A. In the given scenario, provider performs an emergency transtracheal tracheostomy. As this is an emergency procedure, we will first eliminate option A and C with code 31601 used in case of planned procedure. In the next step, we will determine the correct option based on the cost of asphyxiation, which in this case is a toy. It is classified as a foreign body locked in the patient's throat falling under the unspecified type which directs us to the code t17.290 we can easily eliminate option b which uses code t17.22a as this code is specifically for asphyxiation caused by food in the phoenix since the visit occurred in the emergency department we must apply the seventh character a to indicate the initial encounter so our correct option is option d with code 31603 and T17.290A. A 20 year old patient is seen for five transbronchial lung biopsies of two separate lobes. One biopsy is taken in one lobe and four biopsies in another lobe. What CPT codes is are reported? Option A with code 31628, Option B with code 31628, 31632, Option C with code 31629, 31632, Option D with code 31628, 31632 into 4. In the given scenario, five transbronchial lung biopsies were performed across two separate lobes. One biopsy taken from one lobe and four biopsies were taken from another lobe. We first eliminate option C with code 31629 as this code applies to biopsies performed using needle aspiration technique, which is not mentioned in the scenario. Therefore, it does not apply here. Since the biopsies in this scenario are performed on two separate lobes, we will also eliminate option A with code 31628, which applies to biopsies in a single lobe. We will refer to parenthetical nodes under code 31628 and 31632 to select the correct option. The parenthetical node specifies date code 31628 and its add-on code 31632 should be reported only once regardless of the number of transbronchial lung biopsies performed in dead lobe. Therefore, for four biopsies in additional lobe, there is no need to report the add-on code 31632 with multiple units so our correct option is option b with code 31228 and 31632 an icu type 2 diabetic patient who has been in a coma for weeks as a result of a head injury become conscious and begins to improve the provider performs a tracheostomic closure 
and since the scar tissue is minimal, the plastic surgeon is not needed. But CPT and ICD tensium codes are reported for this procedure. Option A with code 31820 E11.641 Z93.0. Option B with code 31825 Z43.0 E11.641 S06.9 X9T. Option C with code 31820 Z43.0 S06.9 X9T. E11.9. Option D with code 31825 Z43.0 E11.9 S06.9 X90. As in the scenario, a tracheostomic closure does not require a plastic surgeon as the scar tissue is minimal and does not require plastic repair. Therefore, we can eliminate option B and D as code 31825 is used for tracheostomy performed with plastic repair in the remaining option code 31820 is used for surgical closure of tracheostomy or fistula without plastic repair we can easily eliminate option a is code e11.641 is used for type 2 diabetes mellitus with hypoglycemia with coma we can't use code e11.641 because the coma resulted from the head injury not because of diabetes the coma would not be reported because it has resolved and the patient no longer experiences it therefore a correct option is option c with code 31820 z43.0 as 06.9 x90 and e11.9 A 60-year-old male, one month status post pneumonectomy, developed a post pneumonectomy emphysema treated with tunnel cuff pleural catheter, which has been draining the cavity for one month with clear drainage. There has been no evidence of block or pleural fistula. Therefore, a planned return to surgery result in the removal of the catheter. The correct CPT code is Option A with code 32440 along with modified 78. Option B with code 32035 along with modifier 58. Option C with code 32036 along with modifier 79. Option D with code 32552 along with modifier 58. In this scenario, a planned surgery is performed to remove the catheter. We first eliminate the options based on the modifiers used. We first eliminate option A with modifier 78, which is used for unplanned return to the operating or procedure room which can be ruled out as the surgery was planned. We will also eliminate option C with modifier 79, which is used for unrelated procedure or service by the same physician or other qualified healthcare professional as the surgery is related to the removal of the catheter that was inserted one month ago. Modify 58 is used for stake or related procedure or service by the same physician or qualified healthcare professional during the post-operative period. As the scenario involves the removal of the catheter, our correct option is option D with code 32552 used for the removal of individual tunnel pleural catheter with the cuff. A 30-year-old malady has the history of laryngitis arrives to the ENT clinic for the laryngoscopy. With the aid of a mirror, for better being, the physician removes a foreign body from the right-sided pair of the patient's vocal cords. What are the procedure codes for this encounter? Option A with code 31511 along with 5550. Option B with code 31511. Option C with code 31530. Option D with code 31530 along with modified 50. In this scenario, a laryngoscope procedure is performed to remove the foreign body from the right-sided pair of the patient vocal cords. Since the provider uses a mirror for better viewing, this indicates that the laryngoscopy is indirect. Based on the type of the laryngoscopy performed, we first eliminate option C and D with the code 
31,530 used in case of direct laryngoscopy. To select the correct option, we follow the guideline stating that all pair structure on one side of the larynx or pharynx are considered unilateral. As in the scenario, the foreign body is removed only from the right sided pair of the patient vocal cord. Therefore, there is no need to add modifier 50. So, our correct option is option B with code 31511. David underwent a bilateral nasal sinus endoscopy. An endoscope was inserted through the nose and the physician inspected the nasal cavity, middle meters, superior meters and the turbinates. The sphenoethmidesis was not inspected due to anatomical deformities. A repeat examination is not planned for the future. Option A with the code 31,231 along with modifier 52. Option B with code 31,276. Option C with code 31,231 along with modifier 53. Option D with code 31,231 along with modifier 50. In this scenario, the physician only inspected the nasal cavity, middle and superior meters and terminates. Since no surgical procedure was performed, we first eliminate option B with code 31276 which is used for nasal sinus endoscopy surgical with frontal sinus exploration. In all remaining options, code 31231 is used for nasal endoscopy diagnostic unilateral or bilateral. We will also eliminate option D with code 31231 along with modifier 50 S code 31,231 is applicable for both unilateral and bilateral diagnostic procedure, meaning there is no need to add modifier 50, which is typically used to indicate a bilateral procedure. To select the correct option, we refer to CPT guideline, which state that the code 31,231 to 31,235 for diagnostic evolution involved using nasal sinus endoscope to inspect the anterior of nasal cavity, middle and superior meters, turbinates, and sphenoethmoid recess. If all elements are not fully examined, modify 52 should be used. If a repeat examination is not planned, and modifier 53 would be used if a repeat examination is planned. In this scenario, since no repeat examination is planned, the correct option is option A with code 31,231 along with modifier 52. Thank you for watching. If you have any question or need for the clarification, please feel free to write in the comment section. For more detailed guidelines, CPC MOOC exam related questions and notes, email me at the giving email id.